Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. In this video, I'm going to show you how to double crochet two pieces of fabric together. So um, this technique is used um, probably most commonly, the one that you'll be looking at for, for is the elephant's ears, um, where you're making a large circle, you're going to fold them in half, and you're gonna double crochet through both sides in order to um, finish those off. But it's also now used in quite a few different patterns, and it's exactly the same way, even if you're double crocheting two separate pieces of circles together or fabric together rather than folding one piece in half. And all you're going to do is once you've um, finished the instruction for that piece or those two pieces, take your hook, put your hook into the next stitch along that you would be working if you were continuing on that um, round, that circle, so put that in there. Then put your hook through the stitch that you've just finished. So it's actually through the one that you've got the live yarn in. So put your hook right the way back through that one so you're truly folding it in half like that, yarn over, bring it through, and it can be a bit tough to do that first one to the point where you've got two loops on your hook and then just finish that double crochet off. So you've done your first one and then you just need to marry the stitches up as you go along. So you put your hook in through both sides of that next V and both sides of the next stitch along on the back piece and double crochet through those. Onto the next one, so put your hook in through both sides of that V, in through both sides of the other one and double crochet through both and you can slip stitch them um, some patterns rather than double crocheting them together will ask you to slip stitch them if you're going to slip stitch them together go in through that one in through that one and yarn over and come through both and then through that one in one movement and what that will do is it will just give you um it won't give you as neat an edge as if you're doing a double crochet. The double crochet edge gives you those lovely Vs that sit on the surface and finish it off. The slip stitch one will be a bit tighter and closer, um, but can sometimes be used to good advantage. So say with um, the larger octopus legs, it's great for that because what it does is it pulls them together on a tight tension and actually makes them a bit curly um, when it's sitting on your double crocheted fabric, which can look great um, and give them a little bit more movement to them. But if you're just double crocheting them together, put your hook through both sides of that one, both sides of the one on the back and then just work your double crochet stitch as normal but through both sides of the stitch.